Okay, here we have three formula into which I am going to be substituting A is 6.2, B is six, uh, negative 6.5, C is 8.3, and I want all of my answers to three significant figures. Clearly with squares and square root signs uh, and a square here on the end, I will be using a calculator to work out the various values. So let's look at this first one, equals. And when I put my square root sign into my calculator, I will get a bracket to start with. 6.2 squared, add on, and because my b is negative, I'm going to bring in a second bracket here, minus 6.5 squared, don't forget to close the bracket, and closing the bracket at the end, so that when we do the push the equal sign, it will work out the whole of this square rooted. And when I do that, I get the answer 8.9822 27 and a few other numbers and I want it to three significant figures one two three my fourth number is two so to three significant figures my solution is 8.98 similarly with this one I've noticed I've got a fraction and I'm going to use the fraction button on my calculator so this will equal the square root of and again I will have a bracket and then I will use my uh, fraction uh, button on the calculator. 2 times pi times the value of a which is 6.2 divided by, and the bottom number is 8.3, and again don't forget to close the bracket before you push the equal sign, and when you do that you'll have the solution 2.1664 and some other numbers. Three significant figures. I will have 2.1. I have six here as my third number, and my fourth number is another six, so that rounds it up to 2.17. For my last one here, y equals three times the value of c, which is 8.3, brackets 4a, which is gonna be four times 6.2, take away 5b. Now b again is negative, so I'm going to do take away brackets 5 times negative 6.5, close the brackets for this part of the calculation, close the brackets for the whole of what's here, and then do my square. When I now push the equal sign, I get 81753.921. And to three significant figures, one, two, three, consider the fourth, which is a five, so that rounds up the seven to an eight, eight, one, eight, zero, zero. So in summary, where we need to exercise caution is when we have a square and we have some negative numbers inside, so we need to introduce additional brackets. Don't forget to use the fraction button on our calculators, but again, don't forget to close the bracket underneath the equal sign before we push the equal sign and a similar problem with that one. Okay Mary, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.